and it looks like it's not it's not anything we should be too excited about. But is the money is is, is the money that we were told that we should not sign the bill because we will lose it. So if it's not something that we should be so excited about it, mm. why can't we sign a bill out? But, but see, Rose, Rose, um, we're going to have a lot of international bodies giving us monies. I mean, uh, the World Bank, yes, of course, they, they've always been there for us. We have other bodies who are affiliated. We do have to, a lot of bodies. Exactly, who are affiliated to this. So, uh, you know, um, I don't know how to put it, whether they are unique people. They are unique people, right? They are LGBT people, they are unique people, right? So... They are just like us. Oh, is it? They are not unique. So... <laughs> they are just, they are just I'm, like I'm, us. I'm, their sexuality I, is different. I, I'm trying some, not some to offend to anybody. You are not offending whatever, anybody but, here, but um, some choose I'm to saying, identify as cats. Some choose to identify as dogs. Some mm. choose to identify as trees. So they are what people? They, they, are, they are who they are. They are just like us, but they so choose they are, to identify as cats and trees. Hmm? They are not unique They are just people. like us. Okay, I'm, I'm saying unique because of how they explain how, how are they? who they are, you know, they were created differently. So they were created like us, <laughs> nine months pregnancy, giving birth, uh, oh, I'm serious, I, I do, but, ah, uh, how, 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 what, what did I say wrong? And were they not, did their mother not get pregnant what, with them for nine months? What's your position on that? What's my position on LGBTQ or live television? Yeah. National television? Yeah. They know. Anyway, um, uh, coffee is but hello, coffee. Welcome. Coffee, yeah, thanks for good. saving the day. Okay, I don't know why KMJ will ask me this question. No, I'm like, going to ask you again. But, I am, I yeah. am a TV host. <laughs> I, I want to remain as such, and I want to keep my job. Thank you very much. <laughs> Isaac, please talk to us. Well, so, I mean, I was saying that um, 300 million, although it's small to compare to the size of Ghana's GDP, but at this point, every single dollar is important to the Ghanaian economy. And so, yeah, if you ask me, small, okay. but significant at the moment. Okay, so the major issue would be how this will be distributed. What exactly are we using these monies for? Um, the major concern has been the fact that we get some of these monies come in and we don't see them, you know, used for what they're supposed to be used for. Uh, in this case, what are we looking at? Let me first link this with the um, 600 million that, I mean, Rosalind jubilated when it came in. Yeah, oh, I remember. Okay, I did. <laughs> oh, I did. It was part of the IMF manual. Where is it? Yes, that at, least, at least we were in a very, you know, it was tight supposed to, it was supposed to So when that us. money came, we, we all got a bit, a no, bit of relief. You, you got a bit of what? <laughs> me, I didn't get my share. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you get it? Is now, let me <laughs> tell you, let me tell you, what that money was used for and why you didn't get your share. Okay, sure. In fact, we are all supposed to get our share in a certain way, but the current situation tells us that we've not, we, won't, we did not get anything from that money. So 600 million was a second tranche that came in. Mm. According to the Bank of Ghana governor, when he uh, gave an update about two days ago, he said more than $400 million of that $600 million was used to pay energy sector areas <laughs> so if we use more than 400 million dollars to pay energy sector areas we should have our lights on uh coffee let me ask you this um mm -hmm. we know that ecg is still owing some ipps so which areas yeah. are we talking about and ecg was supposed to have made some profits uh in november and in december so if if you look at the energy sector debt, we are talking about more, I think somewhere close to $2 billion. Okay. And IPPs alone, uh, you know, they, have, they hold about half of that. More than, according to the president, it's now around $1.4 billion. So IPPs hold more than half of the energy sector debt. Okay. So when you're talking about the entire energy sector debt, it includes the IPPs, it includes all the other... Um, debt that ECG owes the other power players. So My use, question this morning is that 400 million is very huge. And, and they so use all 400 it, million US dollars you, to go and pay energy sector? Yes. Why and, are we not having that? And we are in Dumso. Oh yes. no, it's not Dumso, it's that's, intermittent that's, power outage. Dumso, aka Dumso. <laughs> Oh, so so maybe pay that's pay. why you did not get your share of the second tranche, $600 million wow. that came in. But this very one 
is program targeted. Program targeted in the sense that uh, it is going to help us, um, you know, restart some of the sort projects. Uh, we know that government promised in the 2024 budget that they were going to fund the um, La General Hospital with their own money. And so we anticipate that that's one of the projects. Okay. And according to the finance, the former finance minister, Ken Okoyata, when he uh, delivered the 2024 budget, he said that the, uh, we're actually looking for, waiting for money from the, I, uh, the World Bank uh, to actually do the compensation and reconstruction of infrastructure for those who are affected uh, by the Akosombo um, Dam spillage. So those is what we also uh, expect. Something okay, so talking about that, let, let's quickly go through a list of selected projects to be funded from concessional borrowing sources for 2024 to 2027. Mm, yeah. Construction of a yeah. new bridge of the Volta River at Volivo. Additional financing. This, is this for the same, you know, MEPE thing and all of that? Um, no, I think it's a different place, uh, but it's part of the the, the areas EMF that to benefit from concessional loans. So, a, a perfect example of a concessional loan uh, is the three hundred million dollars from the uh, IMF. Okay. This, this so year, we actually we expected, we expected what seven hundred million US dollars, right, for the loan? Yes. Okay. Emergency financial sector support projects, Kumasi Industrial City Projects and Special Economic Zone, construction of Pokwasi Reach Junction at Shalibotri School Junction Project. Mm -hmm. Which project is that one? Well, it's project. Which project is that? I'm sure it's one of the adjoining roads to the Pokwasi. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. It, it looks like a big project because it stretches from Pokwasi to... Um, Ashalibuchi School Junction. So, right, and project. then I think the other project that we have, if we can get that one too, um, we have the establishment of the STEM based senior high schools the, mm -hmm. um, in uh, five regions in Ghana, supply and installation of medical and technical equipment infrastructure. This is very important. This is very, very important because we've been speaking about the number of dialysis machines scattered across the length and breadth of the country. So supplying and installation of medical, you know, equipment and infrastructure is, remember that when we, Joy News had the, the dialogue on the dialysis crisis, it was one of the things that was promised that government was going to look into it and see if they And this 300 million, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to cut you, Kofi, but this yeah. 300 million is going to do all of these? These are some of the projects that are supposed to benefit from concessional loans like the 300 million dollars. But this is very 300 billion. So what we understand is that usually when the money comes in dollars, they come into the account of the Bank of Ghana. So the okay. Bank of Ghana takes the money in dollars and then they will, they will inject the CDU equivalent into the economy. So whatever project that they are going to do um, will probably be paid in cities. But Bank of Ghana will have the chance to keep the money in dollars, in dollars. and then exchange it with cities. So... They will keep the dollars and use it to cushion the city. In fact, uh, currently we know that the demand and supply situation between, uh, in terms of the shortfall between the dollar and the city has risen because, I mean, people are now demanding for more dollars to do importations. And we are also struggling as a result of the dollar crisis going on in Nigeria, where um, some research shows that, I mean, people are even coming into Ghana um, and because of our porous, uh, porous borders, they are possibly able to take, uh, come and exchange dollars here and then take it to Nigeria because it's so hard to get dollar in Nigeria. It's very expensive currently. And so we, it is anticipated that we may have a spillover effect as a result of what is going on in Nigeria. So Bank of Ghana needs that money. In fact, they, they need the money to be able to um, to cushion the city, to stand, so that it will not doze, <laughs> doze off again, major trading. Kofi, are you sleeping? Like I'm not sleeping. Hey. No, he said the city will not doze. Ah, <laughs> uh, when he said doze, his voice changed. No. Anyway, um, Kofi, <laughs> so the last point is what actually caught my attention. It said Ghana yeah. jobs for youth through competitiveness <clears throat> and entrepreneurship support project. Mm-hmm. So you see, it is an election year, so it's interesting. 
the type of project that government will be um, embarking on. You know, it's between 2020, 2024 and 2027 anyway, so let's be fair. But you could see that most of them, since an election year, government will prioritize them, especially the Ghana Jobs for Youth True Competitiveness and Entrepreneurship Support Project. I'm sure a lot of attention will go there. And then the one you showed earlier, okay. um, the Kumase uh, Industrial City Project and Special Economic Zone. You know Kumase or the Asante region is the heartbeat yeah. of the NPP party. And it's an election year. They'll be doing all they can to make sure they maximize votes from there. There's also the free SHS, which is one of government's flagship programs. Mm -hmm. It is one program that they allocate a lot of money to it each year uh, for it to be successful. So they'll be looking at some of them, but the 300 million is not the only money we are waiting um, to get from the IMF yeah. or from the World Bank. Right. In fact, this money was supposed to come last year, mm. but because we could not cross some T's and dot some I's, we did not get it in time. Just like the 600 million that delayed, this one also delayed. Remember that any money the IMF, will, the World Bank will give us, it actually is conditioned on we meeting some of the IMF conditionalities. Mm -hmm. So this year, for instance, we are expecting a total of $720 million from the IMF. Mm -hmm. It will not come direct. It will not come easy. We have to meet some timelines and some, you know, conditions. One of it is to... A, pass, you know, a, a partial, you know, condition is that we need to um, restructure our euro bond or our commercial debt. And, and if you're able to do that and meet all, meet all the other benchmarks, we possibly will be getting additional $360 million from the IMF uh, by 1st May. That is the scheduled time. But if it delays, uh, uh, the governor says maybe somewhere around June or when the IMF start the review. So 720 million from the IMF. We are also expecting additional $620 million from the World Bank. So if you add it to the $300 million that has hit the uh, accounts of the Bank of Ghana, we are talking about close to $1 billion from the World Bank alone this year. But it will not come easy. We need to meet some benchmarks and some conditionalities. And AFDB will give us... Uh, Forty-four million dollars. So in total, about one point four billion dollars from the IMF, the World Bank, and the ALBB. Uh, in twenty. Expects it to come in. Hmm. Again, are there any questions for him? Interesting. Um, how in terms of paying back? <laughs> yes, it's good. I mean, I love this question because it's not free. <laughs> No I'm sorry, forgive We've me. We've never had a free lunch. Uh, in terms of, you will pay back. There's no free lunch. You will pay back. You don't have Bro, how does this affect pay. us as a nation? <laughs> well, I mean, we will pay back, but this is better than a non concessional loan. Okay. Because usually loans from the multinational organizations like the IMF, the World Bank, and the AFDB, they come with very moderate interest. So I know the IMF highest interest rate currently is around 2.8 percent hmm. and world bank i suppose will be a little lower and they usually give you a grace period and they spread the payment plan over a very long period of time sometimes it can even take 25 years for you to pay back but what it does is that it ties you to some austerity measures and some conditionalities that you need to meet because if money is coming into your pocket and it looks it's significant, but it looks cheap, it means that definitely some strings will have to be pulled and all of that. So on this, on the scale of interest rates, it is very cheap, but there are conditionalities that we need to meet. And these are program targeted loans. And so if you use the money, you need to do assessments, evaluations, and write lengthy reports for the World Bank and the IMF to go through for them to see that the money they give you, you use it for the right amount, the right job or whatever. It's not like the non-concessional loans that you can just go and do roadshow in London and get about three billion, and, and nobody cares what you use the three billion for. So, I mean, it's it's, it's better than the commercial loans.
All right. Okay. Um, Kofi, I know very well that you are not a prophet. I also know mm -hmm. that you are not the one who controls He's IMF. A member of the SDA. Oh, yeah, you are, okay, yeah, you're a member of the SDA. But of course, you're not a prophet. SDA. So, two things. You will not be able to predict when the world is going to come to an end. Another thing is that you will not be able to tell us if we'll be able to pay our debts that we are owing in general before the end of the world. But you know the figures and you know how, where we stand when it comes to debts you know, uh, to yeah. international bodies and all of that. Do you think that as a country we would ever get to a point where we would not be owing any yeah? international realize? <laughs> we'll not be owing <laughs> any international body from leadership to where like Ghana, it, it will be difficult. I mean, because right. at the moment, we've, we've only postponed our economic crisis to, let's say, two or three years more. Two or three yeah, years? It's just like... It's just like an individual, somebody who is working. Let's just use this scenario. Somebody who is working and earns 3,000 cities by his owing, let's say, 15,000 Ghana cities. The person every year must use, let's say, 80% of his salary to pay interest or to settle the debt. Mm -hmm. Now, the person goes into a difficult situation and tells the, um, the, the creditor that, you know, I earn 3,000 cities. And every month, I'm supposed to pay you, let's say, uh, um, um, 1,800 or let's say 2,000 cities for my salary. Yeah. So because of that, give me breathing space for two years so that I will be able to gather more and pay. Then that two years come, KMJ, your salary is still 3,000 cities or did not go up by any significant margin. Let's say it goes up to, let's say, 3,500 or 4,000 cities. And you piled all the debt to two years. And you are not able to do any saving. You've not been able to get any significant inflows. You still have kids to take care of. Mm. And that two years come. Just imagine. Your situation will probably be worse. Kofi, okay. you, know, you know, let me uh, go back into KMJ's question. KMJ, mm. I know you, you said that Kofi is not a prophet. But Kofi, if we should have a CD strength thing... Will it also help us a little bit in, you know, in a... trying to cover up our debts? Because it looks like any time the city depreciates, our debt increases. Well, Rosen, it's, it's, it's a nice analogy anyway. But you see, in Ghana's situation, we always strengthen the city with borrowed dollars. Yeah. So, so you city, city is not going to appreciate. Is that you what it is? Always, you always strengthen your CD with borrowed dollars. So anytime the CD strengthens, you end up incurring more debt. Yes. Internally, you're not so it's as simple yourself. as that. So whenever we try to strengthen the CD, we end up incurring more debt. Mm -hmm. anyway, and that's Ghana's situation. Yeah. So, don't, don't go, don't go, don't go. <laughs> I um, want viewers to also join the conversation. So we will activate the phone lines for probably like, what, five minutes? And, uh, yeah, depending. The five minutes. Mm. The viewers can join us in for five minutes. So just about four or five calls we can pick. Uh, let's hear your voices this morning. What do you think about Ghana's debt? Well, the money has dropped, but it's still... It means that we still owe, though. Um, well, Rosen, well, maybe, we owe plans. Well, our city Hello. strengthening. But a good thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, Kofi, go ahead. Yeah, b before they even call in, they should know that currently, if we should share like Ghana's debt uh, among we, the oh, 10 yeah. million people, everybody is owing 18,000 Ghana cities. So those those who are coming everybody. to call, they are also Why? owing. They are owing 18,000 Ghana cities. Yes, yes, yes. They should know that they are owing <laughs> So put that at the back of your mind. <laughs> so you see, my, my, my conviction is... Even my daughter is owing 18,000 Ghana cities. <laughs> yes. The one they don't They are part of the 31 million cohorts. You are owing 18,000. That's even the average. See, those who are not born, they are owing in advance. <laughs> <laughs> The moment you bump your peep, your, please call us. Join the conversation. But <laughs> you see, my happiness is the, maybe maybe my happiness, but yes, is the fact that we could actually have the world end without we paying our debts. We can the pay debts we can pay. Jesus has paid the debts for us, which is a good thing. That's why we are Easter. So we owe some people and end the world. Uh, uh, that, uh, that one there, we don't yeah. have a choice. Mm -hmm. But I just want to know: Will the CD ever appreciate? Coffee. Well, this is a question for me. Yes. Well, the CD okay. Yes. Well, 
Yeah, I mean, if you look at the depreciation rate of the CD, it, it does appreciate sometimes. So, for instance, you start the year around 11, $1 to 11 CDs. It got to a point we even went below um, 10 CDs. Last year, around November, December, we saw the magic that the CD did. Yeah. The CD dropped from almost 15, um, the, the dollar dropped from almost 15 CDs to nine CDs. And to, to, in, in some exchange situations, you could even get as low as eight CDs and seven CDs, 50 percent. And it was not because we were doing anything, you know, brilliant in the local space. It was just because America had stopped doing monetary policy tightening. Ah. And I always say, Ghana's economy has so many, you know, external strengths. So immediately anybody decides to pull one. And we are so fragile that the smallest force from any of the, the strengths can actually cause crisis. Okay. So... I always say we don't print dollars, but we almost do everything and anything here in, the, in this country in dollars. People are paying school fees in dollars. People are renting in dollars. People are pricing cars in dollars. Where are you going to? Are you America? Why, how are you going to print that green back? We only depend on the dollars that comes in as a result of our ex, um, e, um, exportation and things like remittances and things like Hello. tourism. Which, as a country, hey, we are not looking about bring more back. than $3 billion every year, tourism. You get it. So when those things are not bringing you the dollars, all you have to do is to borrow for the dollars. And when America decides that there's too much dollars in the system, let's mop up small. Then you see countries like Ghana, Nigeria, and other um, you know, developing countries are suffering. Kofi? Kofi can't hear. Uh, um, our situation Kofi, in Ghana. I can hear you. You can hear? Oh, you can hear. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, ah, good, okay. good, good. We good. thought you couldn't hear because we're telling you that we actually, the affordable housing is in dollars. <laughs> Everything is in dollars. <laughs> Everything is in dollars. I mean, you just imagine, oh, Rosie, even in, in this country. Maybe you didn't know. I just wanted you to know. <laughs> <laughs> The affordable I didn't, house. I didn't want to go uh, there the, because the that thing is what, $20,000, eh? That is one bedroom, chamber and hall. Yeah. How? Yeah. How? And yeah, because you, you borrowed in dollars to, 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 to actually build it. So if you are saying you are raising the money in cities, by the time you are done raising, the city yeah, is moving right. around 18 cities or 17 cities. How are you going to pay? Yeah, we, how can we afford and, that? Uh, yes. And, so and, and, even, with, and even with power. Power, you generate electricity here in Ghana in dollars. Then ECG will have to collect the revenue in cities. How do you expect ECG to pay to pay everybody? So even with this doom, so we are all pointing fingers at ECG. But how do we expect ECG to generate power in dollars and sell it to us in cities? By the time they are going to pay their debtors, they they let's say they produce the the the, the power at one dollar to nine cities. By the time they are supposed to pay their debt, the, the dollar is around 11 cities or 13 cities. How do you expect, where is ECG going to get that short for to pay the IPPs and to pay those who are providing services to, to them in dollars? How do they do that? Well, uh, the finance still knows land. this I, and they still give power but to Let's dollar. not forget that in the year 2007, uh, you know, we saw the re-denomination of the city. I don't know if it will ever happen again. A call, a call. But yes, we have a call. Like, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. What's, what's your name? And yeah, what's, yeah, your, what's name? your name? I'm Roger. Hi, Roger. Hi, Roger. Roger, Roger, please. Hello. Roger. Can you know yeah. what you're I'm not closer to my TV set. Hey, but you're getting the feedback. Okay, uh, anyway. The feedback is from here, don't Maybe worry. it's from here. Mm. Okay, so, um, so you're not closer to the TV set. Hello, Roger. Hello. Roger, are you there? Okay, I think uh, Roger has Roger, though. <laughs> um, let's see if we have some messages uh, that are coming in. Uh, I think we have some few messages. We'll quickly read some of the messages. But I was saying, like I was saying, in the year, I think 2007, was it when we saw the re-denomination of the city uh, and we saw the city strength thing a bit? Are we going to see that happen again, 2007, 2008? 
Keep your calls coming. You can give us a call. Let us know what you think about the money. Uh, Tamaso, Tamaso, Kanaba. Hey, we have money now, 300 million. Uh, so let us know what you think about it. But don't forget that whilst you're doing that, you owe 18,000 as an individual. Uh, okay, so I, I think Roger we're, we know where we are. Roger! Oh, the line is off again. Roger anyway. appears and disappears. Appears. Uh, is that it? <laughs> Roger is doing We are suspecting you. You are in Kaswa, eh? Doom so. Uh, Kofi, thank you so much for yeah. joining us this morning. Uh, where are you? What are you doing today? What are your plans for today? Oh, I'll, I'll be in the office in the next 30 minutes or 40 minutes. Oh, God, sorry. Oh, oh. Easy for the, yeah, it's a young class, sorry. Ah, you Matty. By the way, Kofi, how's your best friend doing? Who? Uh, your, your best friend, the former finance minister. <laughs> right now, he's chilling, so he's, he's, he's I on. I told you, Kofi does not do well. He's chilling. <laughs> Kofi, I'll just get out of the way. Enjoy the rest of your day, Kofi. <laughs> he does not do well. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, let's see if we have the messages coming in, but you can also join us as we owe 80 million Ghana cities. It's here to be Kotiana. If I try to just kind of prepare you to operate, could you have a Kotiana? No, nobody's ready to do that. You won't pay? No. You, you pay the 18,000? Why? Ask them to you are not a true citizen I didn't ask them of to Ghana. Do anything on my behalf. You are not a patriot. <laughs> The one they have said that I get that look on them. Okay, so we are trying to project the messages, so we bring the messages to you. But we have um, Muhammad joining us. Hello, good morning, Muhammad. Okay, so we are trying to please lower the volume of your television so that I can hear myself. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. How Salam are you? Alaikum. Wa alaikum salam I wish you guys a happy Easter. Thank you. Uh, Upon hearing this this morning, I'm very sad. It's very pathetic that when we were in school, we were taught so many ways that we can use to handle the exchange rate so that our nation can develop. Mm. But it seems this time around, we have followed to the extent that, as uh, the, the uh, analyst was saying, I we cannot even service our debt. Mm. And this is so shocking. Because a country like Ghana, upon all the resources that... <laughs> uh, God has given to us, and with all these resources, we are still in this mess. I mean, it, it, it's very, really sad. The, our, our leaders are not helping us at all. Because if what he's saying that uh, it's like we have postponed the crisis to uh, 2026, then I, 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 I am thinking that any government that will take over from 2026 going the thing will be worse. And currently, look at the light issues. So a lot of things are happening. And in fact, I'm really sad this morning for Madagan. I don't think Dr. Kwame Nkuma will be happy and those who fought for our independence will be happy wherever they are. Because this, this is too much. How? And come to think of it, I know it has been a, a, a various government borrowing and uh, uh, not doing the right thing at the right time. But currently... Oh, it is really bad. I feel sorry for Ghana. Hmm. And Kuma was unhappy anyway. the very first day he died. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he asked for that one. He's been unhappy since. <laughs> it, anyway, it, thank it, you so uh, much for calling. Mm. Um, oh. I, I don't know what to say, though. Because yeah. It looks like uh, we had to start the day on a very solemn note. And it's even gotten worse, you know. I, I don't know. Hearing that you are owing 80 million, 80,000 other cities without chopping some of the money. Yeah, the word is chopping you because yeah. money is chopping. Yeah. No, but it, you see, it's very sad. Um, we're not saying that other countries don't owe, you know. Uh, most, I mean, if you depend on international grants and loans and all do. of that, definitely you'll be in That's what we do as a country. You know, but you see, our problem is those monies that we go and borrow. What do we use them for? Simple. If you, if if I'm seeing why people will willingly even pay the eighteen thousand if they want to, because really, it's it's they're making money. Do you have street lights? No. Do you have portals in your area? No. Do you have portals you pay in your for area? You, you, don't you have pay for them. Your area. Where I'm blank? <laughs> Everywhere. Everywhere. You know, and we're paying for all these things. The street lights and all of Does that. Does your lights go off? Of course not. I had doom so yesterday now. Come on. Anyway, so Roger, hi. Welcome hi. back. Yeah, I'm back. They don't want me to speak. 
What you said? The network. The, the network. network and ah, the sorry about that. <laughs> sorry. Why are you right, calling us from? I'm speaking from Winniba Police. From where? Winniba. Winniba. Talk to us. Winniba, the old bank as well. <laughs> oh, it's fast. A new way, a new way, yes. It's fast. <laughs> Talk to us, Roger. Okay, I feel, I feel sad as a youth this morning, Rosalie. Please speak up. I feel sad as a youth this morning, Rosalie. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Look at that, this is Stanford University School. Look at the input that Kofi has made. This is not about Harvard University economics. This, I know this is just about economics. How can anybody have to go to time? What type of oh, can name the song we talk Roger, I think I think your network is really, really bad. I can hardly hear what you're saying. And I'm I'm really hoping to hear what you're saying. I don't know what's happening. Okay, so Roger, I, unfortunately we'll have to do the call again. So please try and call us again, okay? Thank you so much for calling. Anyway, so we um whether we like it or not, we are still in a solemn mood. Uh whether we owe the eighteen thousand cities or not. Today, Jesus has died, and he's died for us, for our sins. KMJ found love at a funeral. I don't know if you'll find another love at Jesus' funeral, will you? Um, so we will start the funeral in Kwauti. How are you celebrating your Easter? Let's take a look at this. <laughs> 